you make of it? Well, I think it's very narrow and focuses only on the, um, the minor issues of what has gone on here. Can I just make a couple of observations? What we are calling for is an independent, wide-ranging report and inquiry into what has gone on here. We are dissatisfied for a couple of reasons. One is the report uh, is only really looking at the lower levels. It's very narrowly, narrowly focused. Secondly, it doesn't deal with the real accountability, which is, goes right to the very top, which is John Key's accountability. He is in control, as the Act says, of this agency, which seems to have been acting without that proper control. Secondly, the, the, the circumstances itself will lead us to believe that the other security agencies that were in, in including the intelligence coordination group that is run out of the Prime Minister's office, uh, did not know anything of what was going on. This is extraordinary. This was one of the largest police raids involving, a, uh, a United, the, United, involving the United States um, and involving the police raiding a, a person's home. I cannot believe that, the, that these security agencies uh, did not know anything about that. And the third thing I just want to say is that Paul Naser himself, as the watchdog of the security agencies, uh, is actually has written this report. I think there is a conflict of interest there. And what we do need is an independent report, an independent inquiry that will look into all of the above, what we, what we need to know, give us confidence and give New Zealand its reputation back in terms of its, uh, its uh, transparency and its uh, integrity. Why is he conflicted? He's the watchdog. He's supposed to make sure they obey the law. Because he is also, uh, Paul Naser is also, the, was the watchdog that oversees some of the uh, some of the intercepts uh, that has been, are being made by the, uh, the agency. So in effect, he's, he's looking, he's potentially looking into his own actions. Who do you see as the appropriate body to conduct this uh, independent inquiry? Well, we're taking some advice on, on this, on, on terms of uh, where, on how this, this uh, review might take place. But it would have to be of a high level that would be able to access uh, information and, and people right to the very highest level and would be able to look into all of the communications in and around the, the activities on the .com issue. Does so just a GCSB and... or all intelligence I think agencies? It, I think it, uh, it needs to look at all of the intelligence agencies because I, I have a, a real difficulty in understanding why the SIS, uh, why the uh, intelligence uh, coordination group inside the Prime Minister's office uh, did not know anything of this, as it's, we, we are led to believe, and that they did not pass any information further up the chain to, uh, to John Key, who was responsible for those agencies. Do, do police have questions to answer for police over their actions in this case? Well, the police uh, obviously got in contact with GCSB, or that's, that's what we are led to believe, but I do think uh, that the, a review would take into account their uh, actions and the way that they actually asked for assistance in this case too. Does so your responsibility call this the... report worthless? Well, this report is narrow. Um, it, it's only focused on a, on, on a small bunch of low-level people, when in, in fact, to restore confidence in our security intelligence services to all of New Zealanders, it needs to go right to the very top. The, the only democratic oversight of those agencies is John Key. He is the only democratically elected oversight, and he clearly either didn't know or certainly is failing in his job to be able to provide that, that oversight. How so much what are the chances does though, John of the Prime Key need to take? responsibility does John Key need to take in all of this? Well, ultimately he is responsible. John Key is responsible for these agencies. It actually said he is responsible and can, should be the con, have the control over GCSB and he clearly does not have control over GCSB. But the really worrying thing is the failure of the commun to communicate right up through the chain of command to him or uh, and him not being able to take uh, take the appropriate action. Doesn't what you have to keep a distance though in operational matters? This, on, on, on the launching of operational matters, uh, of course he does, but this is uh, about being involved and being aware of what was going on. Remember, this raid was an enormous undertaking. It involved the FBI, it involved the, the United States, um, it involved national security, um, it involved an agency that becomes directly under him, and for some reason, he doesn't know anything about it. Not only before, but also we're, we're led to believe after. Does what precedent is there, though, okay. for, a, for a Prime Minister in New Zealand to order an independent inquiry into their own activities? 
Well, it needs to happen because right now New Zealanders don't have confidence in their own intelligence security uh, operations. And our reputation overseas, which is of the highest regard uh, for honesty and transparency, is very much tarnished. We need to restore that confidence and restore that reputation. A point that Winston Peters made was that, you know, in terms of the Inspector General, he says just one person vastly under-resourced in terms of monitoring these agencies. Do you think that that's an issue that needs to be looked at in terms of having a properly resourced um, monitoring body? Uh, I, I think that would be something that this review could look into. Um, clearly, Paul Nasen, I'm, I'm not impugning his honesty or his integrity. I just think that given the way that the Act is set up and these circumstances are set up, he is potentially conflicted by his role as the watchdog and his role um, as an Inspector General looking into uh, the activities that went on. Does I mean, you're not impugning his integrity. Well, I think what we need to see is, I, I, don't, I don't have any, uh, I can't make any comment about the court case that's ongoing about Kim.com. Uh, that will have to come out in the court. How yeah, can you not be impugning Mr. Nays, uh, Justice Nays' integrity? Your statement says the inquiries are whitewashed. Well, what I'm saying is, is that the, 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 the scope of the inquiry uh, does not go far enough to satisfy New Zealanders that our security intelligence services are actually functioning as they should do. Just going back to Andrew's question, um, you say that the court case is ongoing, but um, leaving that aside, at the very least, the GCSB has illegally spied on a permanent resident of New Zealand. Clearly, that's against the law. Well, what needs to happen in terms of redress for that? Well, there's a couple of problems. Obviously, the search warrants weren't uh, undertaken properly. Uh, GCSB has acted unlawfully, uh, but it's up to the court, ultimately, to decide what the outcome of that will be, not me. But no one has been, made a been held accountable. I mean, no one's lost a job or been disciplined under this. Isn't, isn't isn't there a problem there? I think there's a real problem. That's what I'm saying, is that the, the report of Paul Nazer is very narrow, focuses only on one small issue, and doesn't really take into account the bigger accountability int uh, interests that run to the very top uh, of, uh, of our government, which is the Prime Minister. So but should somebody be sacked or not? Well, what I'm saying is, is that rather than deal with uh, the, 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 just the few people that Paul Nazer is talking to and talking about, it actually, we should actually have a proper review that is actually much wider than that, that goes right to the very top of the, of the government um, and is able to look at the, the various sorts of intelligence that were looked at or perhaps even not looked at. The GCSB is reviewing all their cases back to 2009 <coughs> to check for other illegal activity. Should their findings on that be made public? Um, well, there's obviously security implications in and around doing that, but what, what, we, what we don't have, and I'll come back to the key point here, the, the critical point is that to restore confidence in our security and intelligence agencies, we need a proper inquiry that is wide-ranging, can go to and investigate many of these warrants and what's been going on, and can investigate the chain of command right to the very top. Okay, thanks. Okay.